Jacksonville police are investigating an incident in which someone vandalized the park at the site of the former Jacksonville landing. During the overnight hours, someone drove a vehicle onto the grass and did donuts on the lawn before driving off. News for Jack's reporter Zach Lashaway shows us the damage and what the city is doing about it. For many, I actually like it. The lawn at the landing, something different, is a space. And it gives uh, downtown residents something um, to do. People frequent daily, or at least three times a day. Stefan Spicer and his pop, Joey's a seven-year-old Yorkie poodle, live a few blocks away from the waterfront park. It's terrible. I saw it this morning, and people are just taking advantage of it. I guess it might be difficult to see, but it appears the driver jumped this curb, entered the lawn via these tracks, and exited the lawn just feet away. Nikki Kimbleton, Director of Public Affairs and Communications for the City of Jacksonville, issued the following statement, quote, It's unfortunate that anyone would deface a public space that so many people enjoy. We are extremely disappointed and take vandalism seriously. We are working with JSO to find those responsible and make sure they are held accountable. End of quote. I think that's a perfect response for it. Yeah, because this is something that we don't need in Jacksonville at this moment. In the River City, Zach Lajway, Channel 4, the local station.